In this video, we will create a lofted bend part shown. Let's get started. Sketch a polygon on the top plane, setting it at the origin. Orient this far right point to be horizontally aligned with the origin. Next, set the point to be located 70 mm from the origin. Let's draw a vertical center line starting at the origin and moving upward to the top line. Then click on Offset. Under the Property Manager, set the offset distance to 1 mm. Ensure bidirectional option is activated. Make the offset geometry construction. The step that follows involves applying the trim tool to trim away these lines. Exit the sketch. To generate lofted feature, you need two sketches on different planes. Let's create a new plane. Go to Reference Geometry and select Plane to open the Plane Property Manager. Set the first reference as the top plane. You can select this from the Flyout Feature Manager design tree. Set the offset distance of the plane as 50 mm. Ensure the offset direction of the plane is upward. Click OK to complete the creation of a new plane. Now, we need to make a sketch on the newly created plane. The sketch will be the same as previously done. It will be a polygon of the same configuration. The only difference will be that the distance between the far right point and the origin is 35 mm. Once done, exit the sketch. Now, switch to Sheet Metal and select Lofted Bend. Under the Property Manager, select the two sketches to set them as the profiles. Let's use the default faceting options, as well as the facet value. You can change them if you like, and it may be good to explore these options for better understanding.
Checking on the preview, everything looks good. Click OK to complete the lofted bend. And this is the generated sheet metal lofted bend.